Good morning. Welcome to Devotions. In church one Sunday, we sang the song, The Power of Your Love. And the following lines really resonated with me. Draw me to your side. And as I wait, I'll rise up like an eagle. And I will soar with you. Draw me to your side. God hears us even if we have slipped far from him. There is a story about a young married couple who used to sit closely together watching TV, holding hands. And as the years went by, this habit waned and they eventually found themselves each on their own couch under a blanket. Comfortable, but the wife declared one day that she missed the intimacy and they wondered between them, who moved? If you are not close to God right now, who moved? It certainly isn't God. He anticipates our call, our reaching out, and waits expectantly, always. God never forgets his people. He engraves our image on the palm of his hand. Isaiah 49, 15 reminds us, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. A quote from George Matheson puts it succinctly, O oh love that wilt not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean depths its flow may richer, fuller be. People may let us down, but we can trust God to fulfill his commitment. Which brings me to the next important phrase, and as I wait, mm, I can be impatient at times, and I expect God to have an immediate response. So I become disillusioned and woe is me far too quickly. His timing is perfect. Joni Tadar once said, Have you found yourself comfortable with good health, secure in a loving relationship, or fulfilled in a steady job? Only to have the props unexpectedly knocked out from under you. You and I don't need an earthquake to remind us that our hope must always rest in the one who never changes. The next phrase, I will rise up like an eagle and I will soar with you, is my favourite part of the song. I'm not prepared to trunge along making the same mistakes, finding myself entrenched in the same trenches, the same recurring themes. For me, I lose weight and I put on weight. Repeat, repeat. It's so important to pray scripture for ourselves and others so that God's word speaks volumes from our head to our heart to our mouth. If you are in the trenches right now, find a quiet spot. Breathe in and out meaningfully and acknowledge your pain or your bewilderment. Welcome what is happening to you. But then... Wrestle with God in letting it go. Let it go. Not as a sloth or a panda or a snail, but as a soaring eagle. Get your eyes off yourself and onto God so that your circumstances are not consuming. We are the ones who sin, move, change and break promises. Nothing is impossible with God. Wrestle with that till you are able to trust, abide, and let go. Be an eagle. See you next time.